McCray! Diego! McCray! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, I do apologize. You must be Miss Lolita. Diego told me you were beautiful. He was right. Oh, thank you. Huh? My name's Justin huh? McRae. Oh, 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 I've heard oh, so much about oh, you all. How oh, are you? Oh. Diego, who is this man? Uh, uh McRae. Uh, he's my best friend when I was studying in Spain. <laughs> This is just wonderful! <laughs> I can't believe it! It's perfect! Just great! You haven't changed a bit, McCray. I was so surprised to receive your letter after all this time. All it said was, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're the only person I know that lived in California. Oh, that's okay. I guess I owe you for helping me to pass all those exams. And I owe you for keeping the bullies away from me. You are an excellent swordsman, Diego. Do you still practice every day? Um, well, I'd rather you didn't mention that to anyone, McCray. You see, I don't fence anymore. My fighting days are over. But why? You were the best. The truth is, I ran into some trouble on my journey from Spain. And I'm afraid to use a sword now. If you said to someone, Ah, my friend Diego, such a brilliant swordsman, they would just laugh. Hmm. <laughs> uh, do you see what I mean? I'm surprised. You're the last person I'd expect to be afraid, Diego. Well, people change. It happened to me. Maybe. What about you, McCray? Do you still want to become a writer, huh? Of course. That's why I came to California to do some research for my first novel. Research, huh? And what's the book gonna be about? Me, McCray? Huh? No, Zaro! Zaro? Yeah, Zaro, the man behind the mask. His infamy has reached as far as Spain. I will find out his true identity and unmask him. I. Uh, He's wanted by the uh, army, you know. Yeah, and the army will help me because I have this! <laughs> A letter of authority from the government of Spain. This letter requests the army to assist me in any way they can. With all their information but and my own research, I, I shall unmask oh, this um, Zorro and make I, the story my oh, book. If I help the army discover Zorro's true identity, his arrest will make my book the number one bestseller throughout the world, and I'll be famous. I'll be the man who captured Zorro! Yeah. Yes, well, I'm off to army headquarters now, Diego, to see what information they have. Oh. Uh... See you later. Goodbye. Hey, wait, McCray. I'll be back at your place for dinner tonight. Oh, um, this is terrible. Hmm. Well, this all seems in order. We will be happy to supply you with all the information we can. Thank you very much, sir. In return, I would ask you to keep us up to date on any new developments regarding this criminal Zorro. Of course I will. By the way, when did you first meet with Zorro? What was your first impression of him? What was he doing at the time? How close to him were well, you? I, and what uh... was he wearing, huh? Was it daytime, nighttime? Were you alone? Was he alone? <coughs> when did I first see Zorro? Let me see. That was at Diego's homecoming party. Diego's? Yes, I didn't get any of the food because of him. Mm hmm. So, huh? you were saying that the first time Zorro showed up, he was at Diego's homecoming party. He could have been on the same ship that Diego arrived on. Hey, do you mind? That's my lunch you're eating. Huh? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Sergeant. Please help yourself. No. McRae, huh? Yeah, he's not only asking the soldiers questions, but everyone in town as well. It could be trouble. How so? He's a stranger in town, so he doesn't really know what's going on around here, does he? Get out of here, you army spy! Go on, get out! Ah! Ah! Yes! The townspeople.
people mistrust him because they think he's working for the army. Uh-huh. But McCray will soon discover what the army's really like. He's pretty sharp, you know. He used to help me study for my exams back in Spain. I'd never have passed without him. You two were good friends, huh, Diego? Ah, yes, I remember when he used to gather all the children around and tell them stories. They were fantastic tales. I remember how happy he was with the children. They would come from far and near just to listen to him speak. He made most of the stories up himself. And then one day he said to me, Diego, someday I shall become a writer. I will write wonderful stories that both young and old can enjoy. That's all I want out of life. He just wanted to entertain, that's all. Just write his stories. Then he's different from the McRae you knew before. Yeah. Still, I'm sure it's not too late for him. <laughs> Have you found him? Uh, nope. He ain't down here. Where is he then? Come on, this way. Phew! What's wrong with the people in this town anyway? As soon as I mention the army, they get angry and start chasing after me. Maybe Zaro is a hero. He certainly seems very popular around here. <sighs> Hold it right there, Zaro! <laughs> <laughs> it seems that the army of the enemy here, but how come? Look, Zara's hey, here! Huh? Look! Come on, let's go see him! Come Hey! Excuse me, please. Uh -huh. oh. So that's Zoro, huh? I've seen him at last. Hey, huh? what do you want around here, huh? Oh, it's you, huh? So you're the one who's been asking questions about Zoro, huh? Uh, wait a minute. I just want to find out more about him. I want to write his story. I'm a writer, that's all, honestly. You liar. You're just another dirty army spy. I don't understand why you hate the army so. After all, they're here to protect you, aren't they? <laughs> Young fool. You have a lot to learn about how things really are around here. Now listen carefully. You see that young woman over there with the little girl? Oh, yeah? Well, what about her? The soldiers killed her husband three days ago, leaving the child an orphan and the mother destitute. That cannot be! <laughs> Quickly, come with me. Paint on his neck. Yeah! Oh, oh, he got away again. Hey, you! Do you know who that is? You look like you recognized him. Speak up! Come on! Oh, please stop! You're hurting me! Ow! Let go! Hey, let go! I don't know. It seems that things are a lot different from the stories I heard back in Spain. The army seemed to be. McCray! Supper's ready! All right! The army seems to be doing exactly as it pleases. I don't think I can help the army now, not after what I've seen. McRae, your supper's getting cold. Okay, I'm coming. Huh? What have you been doing? <laughs> don't worry, I've only been painting the barn. Well, I think you could have changed your clothes before you came to get me. Oh, I'm far too hungry for that. You haven't changed at all, have you? You're right. <laughs> You better come quickly or I'll eat yours as well. Huh? It can't be. What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, nothing, Diego. Well, come on then. Yeah, right. It's impossible. Diego can't be Zaro. But I'd better go and check it out anyway. Huh? It's 
Bernard. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing, McRae? No, oh, you scared me. I was just looking at the barn you painted. There's no need for you to hide, though, is there? Well, I, um, I thought I saw Bernard carrying something into the barn, and I wondered what it was, that's all. Bernard? But I saw him go into town this morning. Huh? You see, there's nobody in here. I told you so. I see. You'd better keep away from the barn until the paint's dried, okay? Yeah. Huh? Ah, I can't stand it! The poor fellow's gone mad. I found so much evidence, but I just don't know what to do with it. Diego? No, I've never seen him with Zaro. He always seems to disappear first. Yes, I asked Diego to stay and wait for Zaro with me, but when I turned around, he just disappeared. Well, Diego was out at the time, yes, so I don't think he could have seen Zorro. The reason that Diego stopped using his sword, well, I have no idea. <laughs> what shall I do? He's gone mad. <laughs> it's the army! Seize all of his papers. Wait a minute! You can't take them yet! They're not ready, Lieutenant! The most important thing is to capture Zorro. I don't care if you're ready or not, understand? Take everything! Yes, sir. Please don't, Lieutenant. I still need them for research. Huh? What's this? Let's see. Huh? Give it back to me. They're personal notes from my book, please! When I saw Zorro, he had paint on his neck. And it was the same color of paint I saw on Diego. Uh, there must be some misunderstanding. Let me go! Let me go! I told you that was only material for my novel. You have the wrong man, Lieutenant. We'll know the truth when we've questioned him back at headquarters. No! Oh, what have I done? No, poor Diego! Don't worry, Maria. He'll be back. It's all been a big mistake. No! Oh, oh, oh. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. If Gabriel becomes convinced that Diego is Zorro, he'll be executed, don't you see? He'll be put against the wall and shot! He'll be shot! Ah! No, no, I told you for the last time, I'm not him! I'm not Zorro! I'd never do such things! Let me go home! Please let me go home, Captain! Ah! Uh. You look tired, Lieutenant Gabriel. He can't be Zorro. Well, if he truly is Zorro, Captain, then he's either very clever or I'm extremely stupid, sir. <coughs> Let him go home, but keep an eye on him for a few days. I will, or I think I may go crazy. By the way, sir, that woman and child that Zorro took away, I'm going to check out the barn at Diego's place. If they are hiding in there, then that will be proof enough for me. It's all my fault. <sighs> if only I'd be more careful, none of this would have happened. Huh? So, it's you again, huh? What do you want this time, Lieutenant? Have you come to take me away for questioning, huh? Oh, I'd just like to have a look at Diego's barn, that's all. Huh? At his barn? I told you, see? Nobody here. What? You want to search Diego's barn, huh? Well, what for? Huh? You certainly have enough soldiers to search the barn, but be careful of the fresh paint. It oh, might no. not be dry. There's soldiers everywhere. We've searched everywhere, sir, but there's no sign of the mother or the girl. Okay. So, Diego really does have nothing to do with Zorro. Right, men, back to headquarters. Sir. It's okay. They've gone, I think. Oh, hey! <gasps> What's going on, Bernard? 
I know it's all my fault that Diego's in trouble, and I'd like to help him out, okay? Hey, Bernard, I hope this works. How do I look? <laughs> well? Hurry up and put the mask on before they see you. Okay, there. Now, you're telling me that the army believe this woman and child are dangerous? Yes, her husband has proof of their corruption. You mean that got him killed? Sergeant, what's all the noise, huh? The real Zorro has turned up. We're under attack. Oh, Zorro? Who? <laughs> Don't worry. Just hang on to Viento as tightly as you can. Yeah! <laughs> Just be seen by as many people as you can. It's Zorro! Stop him! Okay, Diego. Don't move, Zorro. Gabriel, you have tried to win favor with your superiors by pretending this man is me. This is inexcusable. <laughs> this man's <laughs> coming with me. I'll show you who needs favors. I'll tear you limb from limb. The pair of you. Oh, dear. Oh. That's done it. What have you done to upset him, Diego? <sighs> Capture Zorro. What do we do? Go! Ha! Run! Ah. Ah. Zorro! What are we to do? We're trapped! Little Zorro, do your stuff! Okay! Ah. What? No! Ah. Where'd they go? They disappeared! Huh? <laughs> what? Ah. I'm going now, Gabriel. I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Come back! Oh, I'll be back, all right. So look over your shoulder when you're up to no good. Stop, Zorro! <laughs> I'll get you one day, you'll see, Zorro! Oh, Gabriel! Lieutenant Gabriel, am I too late? <laughs> I got here as fast as I could. Have I missed Zorro? Wow! Is this the famous mark of Zorro? Incredible! What mark? Ah! It can't be! <laughs> it's quite remarkable. <laughs> Don't you think so, <laughs> Lieutenant? <laughs> Go back to Spain! Well, McRae, have a safe journey home and take care of yourself. Diego, sorry I caused you so much trouble. It's just that all I could think about at the time was what a wonderful idea I'd had for my first book. I judged the hero to be the villain entirely on hearsay. But I'll never make that mistake again. From now on, I'll look at both sides of the coin, I promise. I know that someday you will be a great writer. I believe in you. Thank you, Diego, and good luck. Someday, I will write the true story of Zorro, but not until we are both old and gray. So don't you worry, Diego. Mr. McRae? Thank you, Mr. McRae. Yes, thank you for saving our lives. You should be thanking Zorro, not me. He was the one that thought of hiding you both in my luggage and smuggling you on board. 
All I had to do was show the guards my letter of authority from the army, and the rest was easy. What would these poor people have done without Zaro? <laughs> <laughs> Your secret is safe with me. Be careful, my friend, Diego. In the next exciting episode of Zorro, has Diego turned into a villain? He's mixing with bad company, a band of thugs under the control of the South India Trading Company. Is Diego working undercover, or has he really turned bad? And is Zorro now fighting against the causes of truth and justice? Who are the mysterious masked men in white capes? Find out in the next exciting episode of Zorro!